So my merch company has made a very limited amount of boot plush pillows based on my logo. He's two feet long and he is very soft. Hit the link in the description to adopt yourself a friend. Pillow boy is hanging out on it. All right, so we just hit master ball and we are ready to continue handing out free L's out here. Ooh, a Durant team, okay. I feel like I've, I've seen this team before, and Durant is extremely scary. My team does not handle that well at all. It kind of makes me want to lead Arcanine just to get an Intimidate. But then they have freaking Milotic and also a Chandelier around. Oof. Hmm. It's not great. Not great. Maybe we go... Hmm. What do we want to do here? We want to lead Grimmsnarl. Come Kelder, it got so many threats, man. So many threats. Um, shit. All right, let's go Snarl. They gotta lead off with that Durant, I would assume, but they just have switch-ins to Arcanine. Let's go Arcanine anyway, and we may Dynamax if we need to, but other than that, then let's go probably Mudsdale, potentially Togekiss, or Duraludon. We're gonna go Togekiss. We're gonna get some scope lens super luck shenanigans. Been visited by the cool gang. Thank you, thank you. Alright. So let's see how this goes. First game as a master rank BDC player. Would you, would you look at that? Yeah, this is this is definitely a tough matchup for my team. I have not done well previously against Durant teams, so you know we'll see how this goes. They go Whimsicott Durant. Uh, which is common, we're basically just gonna expect a Tailwind, and then that Durant to Dynamax and do some scary shit, but at least we have Arcanine out here, uh, which is nice. But now the question is, do I Dynamax Arcanine and just focus the Durant? They could switch into Milotic. There could be, there could be some scary stuff here. They have also the Chandelure. I kind of think they're gonna switch the Durant out, but I would also rather play it safe. We're gonna Reflect for sure. And then, do we Dynamax here? Or do I just Will-O-Wisp? Will-O-Wisp might be the safer play. I really think they're gonna switch into like, do that Melotic or something. What are, they, what are they gonna bring in here? Chandelier's a switch in, but then we have Snarl. Let's go for the Will-O-Wisp, I think, on the Durant slot and see if they're gonna conserve that thing. They're definitely gonna Tailwind that Whimsicott. No, they're just gonna, okay. <laughs> At least it's not a jump bluff, you'll be okay. <sighs> Alright, so they do actually just make Durant large. That makes me really wish I would have Dynamaxed, but I think I'm gonna switch to it. Do you lose your Master Ball when a new season begins? I'm actually not sure. I haven't, uh. I've not paid attention to that. Alright, so Durant behind a Tailwind is extremely scary, especially because. You don't have to worry about this thing missing hustles when it's Dynamaxed. Hey, Cannon with the sub. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Alright, just goes for the Max Quake. We are able to live that. Thank you, Intimidate. And uh, if this will wisp misses, I'm going to end it all. <laughs> also get this Bedef boost, which sucks. but Arcanine eating up some berries, which is nice. It's going to put us in pretty good shape above half. And thank God. Although, do we see an item in this thing's life orb? So, all right, the burn on that was super nice, and we also get to conserve our Dynamax, so we could, that's going to help us out later. So, let's go ahead and do I want to go for a fake tears or do I swagger? I think I fake tears here. Whimsicott's probably sashed anyways. Let's go for the fake tears on the on the Durant. And then let's just heat wave. So that berry really helped us out. Also, we're burned. We burned him, so we're gonna be we're gonna be in a pretty good spot here. Let's see. <clears throat> I think it's hilarious how Grimmsnarl uses fake tears. <laughs> Boom blast, that's gonna hurt. Oh, we're gonna go for the Arcanine actually. Actually gonna be quite a bit. They also get the special attack drop. Now they go for the max rockfall. <clears throat> Yeah, so there's no attacking moves on this Grimmsnarl. It's basically just there for support. And damn it, that is able to kill Arcanine. So that really sucks. That Moonblast play was actually really nice. 
So Arcanine going down there is extremely bad. Only one turn left of their Dynamax though, so we'll see what we can make happen here. But it's not look not looking great. I think I want to go Mudsdale. Cause I think if we yeah, we go Mudsdale here. I would like to swagger my own Mudsdale. But they just they have answer if they have that Melotic, it's gonna be a bad time. Let's see. Uh, Mudsdale does great against their team. Do I go for the swagger on my own Mudsdale? I think we do. So no longer sashed on the Whimsicott, which is great. We are going to swagger Mudsdale. And then let's go ahead and Dynamax this bad boy. And let's max Steel Spike that thing. So Tailwind is still up. But Durant is intimidated and burnt. Not super afraid of Durant. Yeah, we're gonna steal Spike on that thing. We also get a defense boost in the process. All right, it's a big horse. Ready to make some stuff happen here. Uh, we're Assault Vest, so we handle Whimsicott still pretty well. Is also, this Mudsdale is an absolute unit. Just watching your last stream and accidentally exited to reopen Twitch and find you streaming. <laughs> nice, welcome. Welcome, welcome. You can't taunt, you cannot taunt a Grimmsnarl, bruh. That was actually super nice, thank you for going for that. Not a lot of people are aware of that mechanic, apparently. You cannot taunt the dark types, this thing's just gonna go for the steel spike, probably. Hello. Right, Grimmsnarl takes like less than, take about half. Not less. But alright. So this puts us in a pretty good position. We got Mudsdale with that clean attack, and we're just starting our Dynamax now. Plus, we get a defense boost, so. The random sheep, Sammy, is here. The sheep has arrived. Mudsdale is absolutely broken in VGC. Love to see it. Okay, so Whimsicott taken care of. Grimmsnarl can now set up some more screens, do some swagger shenanigans. We could even swagger Muzzdale again and just make this thing an absolute beast. Uh, Alright, let's see, uh... What else did they bring? They do have the Milotic, which we do not like to see. Um, I'm not really worried about this Durant anymore. It also could miss some hustle stuff, which would be kind of funny. Let's go for a light screen. Um... I would like to also swagger Mudsdale again, but we're just gonna light screen. I guess a little bit bulkier. We need to conserve Mudsdale as much as possible. And then we are going to go for a... Do we max Knuckle or do we max Quake this thing just for max damage? I think we're gonna go ahead and max Quake, yeah. Can you turn the volume down? Yes. Okay. I bet Hayden be dummy thick. <laughs> Super dummy thick. Iron Head. Oh, we avoided it with the Grimmsnarl. Nice. Alright, so Muddy Water. Not doing anything. Look at this Mudsdale eating it with that Assault Vest. Alright. So we'll be able to see how much that... Oh, ooh, I'm Lotic does not enjoy that. Mudsdale, way too OP. Loves using my Gengar against Trick Room teams. Alright, we get that Spadef boost as well. You cannot stop the Dale. That is the motto of tonight's stream. You just can't stop the Dale. Also, that Iron Head Mist was pretty unfortunate. Tailwind goes away as well. Love to see it, and now we're able to see what else their last slot is. Probably Chandelure. <laughs> I'll say Chandelure. No, okay, Conkeldur, which is scary. Um, if I had very large balls, I would swagger it, but I'm going to not do that. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and... We're just going to swagger Mudsdale one more, one last time. How about that? I'm definitely mostly afraid of that conk, so let's go ahead and just max quick that bad boy. All these swaggers. Mudsdale got too much swagger. Ooh, it's going to protect. That's a nice play. It's still going to take a lot of damage even through the protect, which is nice. The real man swagger here. Oh my god, I missed it. I missed my own swagger. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, and Grimmsnarl even lived it, but it doesn't matter because the Sandstorm is up, but wow. Max Quake, gonna hit through the Protect. Trying to conserve this uh, 
Cinder Block Boy as much as he can, but look at that, even through the Protect, doing a lot. Very nice. Alright, so that concludes our Dynamax, but... Mudsdale has not been hurt enough to be stopped. Also, now we can go ahead and... That was really unfortunate we missed that Leather Swagger. <laughs> what the fuck? This Durant's just gonna die to pure burn damage. So this thing activates its Flame Orb with Guts, um, but we do have the Togekiss for the Conkelder, and also we're not really worried about taking in Iron Head unless, unless flinches, but okay. So now we are Small Horse, and nice. So, I think we actually want to attack the, we're gonna Dazzling Gleam. And let's just go ahead and... If I miss this high horsepower, so help me, Lord. Okay, gonna rock slide. No flinches, please. Just make my life a little easier, huh? Taking that life orb, and Togekiss flinched. Damn it! Drain punch on Mudsdale, get some health back. That's annoying. That Togekiss flinch is really bad. Hey, Chris with the resub. 22 months. <laughs> Thank you very much, my good friend. All right, so we take care of the Durant, and now it is just us and uh, this boy with the cinder blocks. So, do not believe there's much they can do since we have Togekiss around. Super luck. Togekiss has a 50% chance to get critical hits, I'm pretty sure, with the scope lens, which is amazing. So, the Mudsdale strat was effective. What is happening if you were just joining the stream? This is my first Master Ball tier match. And uh, we were able to we were able to make it happen. Look at that. Literally cannot touch Dale. Mudsdale Earnhardt Jr.